Welcome to question 7 of the 2014 Mathematical Methods Exam 1. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. For question 7 we're told that if f dashed of x, the derivative, equals 2 cos of x minus sine of 2x and f of pi on 2 equals a half, find the expression for f of x. So if we want to find the rule for f of x, we can integrate its derivative. So we're going to do the integral of 2 cos of x minus sine of 2x, and that is with respect to x. So therefore, f of x is going to equal the antiderivative of 2 cos of x, which becomes 2 sine of x, and you can use your formula sheet to remind you how to do that antiderivative. And then when we subtract away the integral of sine of 2x, we actually have sine of 2x goes to negative a half cos of 2x, and the two negatives give us a positive. So we actually get plus a half cos of 2x. Again, using your formula sheet would help with that step. And now at this stage we have plus c, which is a constant of integration. And we're going to use our extra information that f of pi on 2 is equal to a half to find that value of c. So f of pi on 2 is going to equal 2 times sine of pi on 2 plus a half times cos. And when we put pi on 2 in there, we'll actually have 2 times pi on 2 just leaves pi. And then we're still going to have our plus c value. And we know that that is equal to a half. So that's the information that was given in the question. Now, sine of pi on 2 is equal to 1, and cos of pi is equal to negative 1. So therefore, we find 2 times 1 is 2, minus a half, plus c must equal a half. So therefore, c must equal negative 1. And now that we know that c is equal to negative 1, we can write a rule for f of x which is going to equal 2 sine of x plus a half cos of 2x minus 1. So that is the answer to this question. From the examiner's report, we can see that 38% of students got full marks to this question, and that the examiner goes on to say that students who forgot the constant of integration when completing the anti-differentiation were then unable to find the specific equation required. So that was a stumbling block for many students along the way.